Welcome to, is it a card? Is it a list? No, it's a l card list, a, a list card. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, today's video is all about funky page layouting. Um, it's about the fact that the layout engine in Business Central is designed to work in all the cases that Microsoft has defined. But the compiler is not designed to disallow all the other cases. So you have the option of mixing things that are not used that way by Microsoft, nor documented that way, or anything else. So you have the option of messing with things. And sometimes it gets an interesting result. And um, today's video is about that. I, I received a question about uh, why is my page behaving strange? And uh, that is because I'm not quite sure what the page is. Let me show you because it's probably easier to show than to actually tell. And then we can talk a bit out about what option do you have and what option should you avoid. So let's take a look at this. Here is the page. Drum roll, please. This is a, well, the upper left corner says that this is a customer card. Uh, and, and if we look at it from you know, from a distance, it's kind of looked like a, a customer card. If you've seen the video on uh, on the pretty uh, card pages, you'll probably recognize it. With one little one little uh, exception, that there's a list of customer names here, and um, if I well, let's stay in non-edit. So if I click on this, click on another customer. I am suddenly on another customer card. Um, so we have a page that is clearly a card page because the code behind this one is actually saying that this is a card page. But it's also a list page at the same time. And let's go and edit this one. Let's see, can we what happens if we edit the company name here? Oh, I tapped and then I actually went to the next one. So let's go back to this one. It is updated. So it seems to be a working. And what, what happens if we rename this one? Uh, we want to rename? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> Maybe my machine is just slow. We'll see. It's a widow of. No, oh, there we go. It renamed. So, so we have a page that is a card and a list at the same time. And and if we look at this at the code here, we can see that the page type is a card. And the only difference is that there is a repeater around the name field. So um, that is the only change there is to this page for, versus the one that was in, a, in another video. The fact that we put a repeater on a card page. Um, and I will leave it up to you guys to... Uh, to decide if this is useful or not. Uh, one thing that's always interesting to do whenever you're in this uh, this area of uh, of hacking is let let's see how this looks if you go to a tablet. That seems to work fine. If you go to a phone. Then, so what, what happens here that 
on the phone you cannot have a in line edit on on a table so because we are as soon as you click on a field it kind of want to take you to that field on a pseudo card but it still sort of works on a phone but but that's weird layout um Anyway, so, so the point I was trying to make at the beginning of the video is that, you know, Microsoft designed the repeater. Uh, and, and actually, let, let's, before we do that, let's make this even weirder. Let's try to make this even weirder. So we'll add another repeater around the name two. And, and this one is, is show more. So let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can break this thing. So the compiler compiled. It's happy, happy, happy. The compiler said, so no, it's from, from that point of view, it's valid AL. So I'll do show more. And now we have two repeaters. You can see these. It, there's no name to let's actually add some name to add datum name to tray to and school of rock to we all run that right alpine ski downhill and really cloud echo um, so now we have two repeaters on the same page controlling each other. And, and well, the important thing to realize here is that the, the repeater element always controls the source table. So if we wanted to have something else repeated on a card page, we will add a part. So what wasn't called in the old days was called a sub page. Uh, so a page inside a page uh, to get to a different source table or potentially to get to the same, but without controlling the page you're on. Um, so, so now, you know, this works, but it's weird. And, and I don't think that there's anything uh, and and again, there might be a totally valid use case where this might make sense. Uh, I'm having a hard time coming up with uh, anything useful for that. But the point I was trying to get to is that Microsoft designs these controls to be used in a specific manner. And uh, it doesn't really matter if we're talking about the repeater or we're talking about uh, you know, Q groups, the fixed, the grid, uh, anything works in a specific scenario, but you kind of can just use it in, in other scenarios. So the compiler doesn't complain saying, this is stupid. What are you doing? You should not be allowed. There's not even a warning. There's no, there may be a, a I haven't activated the uh, code analysis. There might be a code analyzer that will yell at you. Uh, probably. Anyway, we're running a uh, bare metal here. No analyzers to uh, to interrupt the video. Um, so the concept is that Microsoft have designed all these controls to be used in specific scenarios, and they work tremendously well as long as you are using the, them in those specific scenarios. The moment you venture out, then you, the here may be dragons uh, warning should should come. Um, and let, let, let's let's go back to the the single repeater because that that's, that might make sense in some sort of uh, scenario. I, I I I could envision pages where that would make sense if you had like five different choices and you were to switch between them and, and change properties. I, I, I could see that happen, but it's not really 
something that Microsoft is doing anywhere in, in, in the base app as far as I know. Let me know in comments below if you say, hey, Eric, they're using it in this corner. Uh, so it's totally a supportive thing. Um, but my point is that these things may break. Next uh, CU, next major release, stuff like that. As soon as you go outside of that protected area where you're doing the same thing as Microsoft are doing, as soon as you step outside that, you have to be prepared that they might break it at any moment. Um, and there's no help in, you know, in the compiler saying, hey, you are you have selected this type of thing and then you're you're now using this control and that, uh, and only that there's a couple, but, but mostly it's not. So is it a card? Is it a list? Is it, what is it, card list? Well, in this case, I'm not sure, but it's kind of funny. So I thought I would show you that uh, you, you can do stuff like this, but uh, do not put it into production. That's probably the wise. Oh, maybe. If you have a great idea for how to use a page like this, let me know in the comments and uh, I will read them all. And uh, when I'm done reading, I'll record another video. So uh, you guys have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.